Hi, my name is uh, Etienne Sanson from Robotic and welcome to the lesson on the safety of the robotic pelletizing solution. In this lesson, uh, we will cover general consideration for a safe deployment of cobot cells and then we will dive into the safety around the robotic pelletizing solution itself. First, let's talk a bit about standards. Standards are guidelines that will give you the principle for a safe deployment. The current lesson is based on content from the international standards provided by ISO and IEC, like the ISO 10 to 18 part one and two for industrial robots and robot systems. We also use some technical specifications from ISO, like the 15066 on collaborative robots. Although reading these documents might be a daunting task, I encourage you to be knowledgeable on them. All these are international standards, not laws. Uh, you should always follow local regulation that apply to your region. Do not base your risk assessment solely on the information provided in this lesson, as specific laws and standards may apply to your country or industry. Manufacturers like Robotic are required to build projects safe by design. But what makes a safe cobot cell is not the project, but rather the utilization of the product. Uh, this is why safety considerations should be brought during each step of the cobot de cell deployment. And here are some guidelines. First, safety should be part of the design of the cell. Here are some things to consider at this stage. For example, what will be the intended use of the cell? Uh, will the cell share space with workers? Will workers need to interact with the cells? In the context of pelletizing, you need to decide how you will switch pallets. Is it an operator with a forklift, with a pallet truck, with a mobile robot? Make sure you have answers to these questions. They will have a major impact on the design choice you make so that you don't need to redesign later on to ensure safety of the operators. Then after the design comes the integration where you will install the cell. In most regulation, the installer is responsible for the safety of the machine for the operator. By installer, I mean the person that will do the initial deployment of the cell. It can be a robot integrator, an industrial engineer, that doesn't matter. What matters is that the installer should perform a risk assessment before commissioning the cell. The risk assessment conclusion will be the subsequent step before going to production. Here are common outputs from the risk assessment that give you an idea of what to expect. Operators should be taught how to start and stop the cell, what to do in case of fault, what to do in emergencies, etc. If any risk is left present on the cell, they will need to be made aware of it. In some cases, you might need PPE, personal protective equipment. For example, if your cell tends very heavy object with the risk of dropping, then the operator might need to wear steel tool caps or helmets. In many cases, you will need to safeguard the cell. This means that when the operator comes into the cell to interact with it, the cell will enter a reduced mode or even a complete stop. On this lesson page, you can download the typical risk assessment for a pelletizer. This document could serve as a base for your own assessment. Remember that the risk assessment should be done accordingly to how you intend to operate the pelletizer and how you installed it. Please consult our ebook on risk assessment below this video to have a step-by-step -step procedure on how to perform risk assessments. Hope this will clarify what you need to consider before integrating the palletizing cell. See you next time to continue your cobot cell integration together.